And welcome everybody. We're live here at the Duck Roost Diamond at Gator Park on the campus of Santa Maul High School in downtown Duck Roost, Louisiana. As our Santa Maul Gators will be hosting the Dutchtown Griffins for a big key pivotal district matchup here tonight. <clears throat> Got Chase Malonson here with me. Good evening, everyone. How are y'all? Voice of the Santa Maul Gators. I'm excited this evening, Chuck. Me too, man. I'm kind of pumped up. Uh, <clears throat> hopefully we have a, a good ball game here tonight. We have – what we got going on here tonight? I see all these little kids with, with, with jerseys and all. Chase, what we got going oh, on? Oh, man, we got a little kids night going on. So, we, we've been blasting social media trying to get the young kids here. Every little league uh, softball, baseball player who comes in their jersey gets in for free. And, uh, and here, Charlie, before we do the national anthem in our introduction, we're going to run them out on the field. They go to their favorite position. They get to stay in with the, the baseball players during the uh, uh, our national anthem. So, they get to – you know, step foot on the Duck Roos Diamond. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Got to get them pumped up early around here. And I tell you what, we got a crowd, Chuck. It's a pretty good crowd. Very, very good, good crowd. crowd. I'm very excited about tonight. Uh, Santa Maul Gators okay. won. I ain't going to say fluke, but it's just – it's a – it's a game that you don't uh, – score that you don't see whenever these two teams match up against each other. But Santa Maul won the other day, I think, 13-3. to three. Yeah, a 10 run uh, in the sixth inning. Yeah, and uh, like I said, it's kind of fluky because we just don't – we don't see it much. You on right now. Your mic, okay. Yeah. 30 seconds. Attention, everyone. If you have a young baseball or softball player here, Please have them report to the back side of the Santa Maul Gators dugout so they can take the field with the baseball team. Come off you. Again, the back side of the Santa Maul Gators if dugout. Just hold her steady. Stand by. Okay, we're trying to get all them kiddos out there so they can. Oh, there goes one. He's there running. There we go. He's running. He's like, don't, don't start without go, me. Go, go, go. Don't four, start without me. Don't three, start without me. Two, so, coaches out there uh, at home plate with. Uh, Chris Chase now. It's Chris Chase now. And Coach Bravada. They're going over the ground rules uh, with the umpires. So we got a pretty good, pretty good ball game. I'm thinking it's gonna happen here tonight. But beautiful day. Oh, it's yeah. perfect, ain't it? Hey, man, oh, absolutely. Look at that backdrop. The best in the state. I mean, Chuck. we don't have subdivision behind us. No. You know. You got nothing but Gold Dome and Santa Maul sensation back there. Man, it looks great. I love it. Our custom flag poles. Custom flag poles all set just for yeah. the sole reason so we can be unique. That's right. We don't want to be like everybody else, you know. So, I mean, it is what it is, you know. Hey, people can't be like us, you know. So, but uh, so we're going to have some some little miniature baseball, softball players go out on the field for the national anthem here today. So, if you got a little one that's going to be out here, if you're a mama and papa tuned in, look for your, look for your player soon. But, uh. So, coaches look like they discussed everything. Coach Brandon Bravada for Santa Maul. Coach Chris Shakesnyder for Dutchtown. And Chris Shakesnyder played on this very field right here in high school. That's it. Former Gator. That should be a good one right here. The uh, two top five teams in the state, Chuck. Number four versus number five. Oh, and he pointed to us. And here right. we go. Gentlemen, please give a round of applause as our junior players take the field at their favorite positions. Release the children. During the lineups, I do apologize. Everyone, welcome to this beautiful evening here at the Duffers Dominic Gator Park between the matchup of your Santa Maul Gators and the visiting Griffins of Dutchtown. Starting lineup for the Griffins. In left field, number 22, Carter Hanbury. In center field, number four, Dylan Champagne. At shortstop, number seven, Casey McCoy. 
First base, number 10, Dylan DeSherry. At second base, number 26, Kay DeLong. At DH, number 14, Andrew Fields. And right field, number 11, Riker Rogers. At third base, number 19, Kaysen Johnson. And center field, number two, Logan Mayo. And on the mound, Foley Griffin, number nine, Jordan Oberly. And now, the starting lineup for you, Santa Mall Gators. Everyone, please stand and remove your hat for the playing of the national anthem. Folks, here we go. Salomon Gators hosting the Dutchtown Griffins here tonight. All the little little rugrats out there <laughs> went staying with their favorite positions. How awesome was that? That was pretty cool. We gotta do that more often, bro. Very, very cool, man. That was awesome. You gotta get them involved early. Get them pumped up to want to come. So, behind the dish, we're gonna have Trent Laporte, first base. Ooh, where am I? First base, Jace Moody. Second base, Landon Blanchard. Third base, Chase Kelly. Shortstop, Ryder Mole. Uh, left field, Connor Dar. Center field, Easton Humphrey. Right field, Wyatt Ford. And on the mound here for the Gators, Lane Swanson. It should be a good matchup, man. Uh, on Tuesday night, uh, we had big lefty Wyatt Ford on the mound. He, he did a Struck out of 10, a I think, ten huh? Strikeout. Yeah. 10. That's phenomenal, you know. And then uh, 
Dutchtown is going to be led off here by Carter Hanberry, Dylan Champagne, and Casey McCoy. Yeah, that was – I didn't get to go to the game. Uh, I didn't get to watch it. I, I, I had to watch it on the patio. Yeah, I didn't I was get trying to, to make it to Dustown, but I could not make it there. In I time. couldn't make it. I, and 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 then I was laying on the couch. And I was like, "Wait, I wonder what the score was," you know. And I looked it up, and I was like, "Holy cow!" So here we go, about to get on the uh, underway here. Carter Hanberry to lead off here for the Griffins. Leading off for the Griffins, number twenty-two, Carter. Leading off of the grip ends, number 22, Carter Hanbury. You got to get used to that button. I, I got to get used to it. Hey, I like it, though, Chuck. I'm glad you like it. Boy, that, that man right there. So. I've, been, I've been begging for a stationary microphone for two years, <laughs> and Mr. Sheets came in clutch. So first pitch takes for a strike, starts his count out here, 0-1. So 0-1 count here on Hanbury. Curveball falls, swings and... Misses for 0 2 count here. So 0 2 count in the wind up and the pitch. Ooh, left it down a little low. 1 2 count. So one ball, two strikes. High and outside there, 2-2, two, two, even the count here. So two balls, two strikes. The third base umpire saying something to both dugouts. Not sure what that was about, but he, uh, he stopped Swanson there mid-wind-up. Said something to the Santa Monica dugout, then to the Dutchtown dugout. Probably said no talking to pitchers or something. I don't know. And that'll be over Church Point. $8. $8. Eight gone. Eight gone. gone. So, 2-2 two -two count here on Hanbury. It's that evening sun starting to get in the right side's eyes. Mole feels it, throws across. And out number one. Mole with the 6-3 put out for out number one. Now batting for the Griffins, number four, Dylan Champagne. So Dylan Champagne up to bat now here for the Griffins. Swing and a miss, starts out here 0-1. Swanson coming out though. He's, 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 he's amped. He is Dylan. He's amped up, so hopefully this continues on for numerous innings. Numerous. By numerous, I mean seven. Yes. And call strike. There we go. 0 2. Let us know where you tuned in from. Leaves it down low for a ball. 1 ball 2 one. count. Don't forget to like the page, share the page, like the feed, share the feed. Subscribe on YouTube. And evens the count here at two. So two balls, two strikes, one out here on Dylan Champagne. And the windup and the pitch. There. Swing and a miss for out number two. Swanson with the strikeout for out number two. Now to plate number seven, Casey McCoy. Don't forget your Pac-Man stuff, bro. No, I hit it. Oh, you did? Oh, I, didn't, yeah. I didn't hear it. Oh, yeah. I I, I, I heard it on my Oh, you my did? Earbud. Oh, okay. I didn't hear it. I got you, buddy. I wouldn't. I didn't. Man, God, I suck. I might have to go get hearing aids. <laughs> so, Casey McCoy up the bat. Ooh. Now here for the Griffins. Leaves that one down low. Starts out here 1-0. So, one ball, no strikes. Hard hit ball, uh, left field, and that's foul. That's a long <laughs> strike, 1-1. One, one. About two feet, maybe three. Oh, oh man, that thing almost hit the, the batting cage. <laughs> <laughs> it was so foul. It almost hit the batting cage. Yeah, that thing was foul. So here we go, 1-1 one, one count. Here on McCoy. Leaves it down low, runs the count, 2-1. So two balls, one strike. McCoy, and uh, – Am I misspeaking that he's a UL commit? Oh, I don't know. I thought I heard some. Swing and a miss. 
I don't know. I it could I heard be. Someone say that. Mr. Donald Leje tuned in from Denham Springs. Hello, Mr. Donald. Hope y'all having a wonderful day. Yep, we are. I mean, we <laughs> just look at the ba backdrop, Mr. Donald. Look where we at. Man, that's wonderful. You don't get a better day than this. I'm telling you. Thank you, Alan Evans, for your contribution and support of Santa Mal Gator Athletics. So full count. Oh. Ah. oh, that was a ball. Oh, man, so he draws the walk. Now batting number 10, Dylan DeSherry. So that brings up Dylan DeSherry now here for the Griffins of Dutchtown. Oh, yeah, I, I, I think I unplugged. Oh, no, I don't know what I mm. did. No, I, during break, I'm going to add this to it just so she gets a little closer. Uh, can you? I think I think so. Oh, that's foul. foul. Just out of play. Yeah, I don't yeah it's the same flow. It is? Yeah. Okay. It should be good. I got We're going to try it, if not. There you go. There you go. I am so fancy, dude. Man, that's fancy. The DST 99S. Man, that's fancy. That sounds like a brand new model that they created yesterday. Man, they made that yesterday. Delivered today. <laughs> 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 Ooh, just outside. I will tell you, he's got tight little zone. So one ball, one strike here on DeSherry. DeSherry. Got a. 26K DeLone is on deck. And if you're just tuning in, Lane Swanson on the bump here for the Gators. Hard hit ball. Ooh. Oh, Mole with the grab, throws across. Mm. He's going to be safe, but that was a great play there by Heck Mole. Heck of a play. Heck of a play. Now batting number 26, K DeLone. I didn't think he had a shot to stop that ball. No, me neither. Beautiful little backhand snag there. Oh, Shane, bring that tuned in from Station Six today. I, I, I seen him post earlier. He had to work tonight, man. Man, Station Six. He must have got demoted. Demoted? I mean, you go from 15 to six. So you're not the <laughs> higher number no more, you, you know? Uh, look, it's funny. It's funny. Look, so the entire Lalonde family showed up tonight, and they took look. They took Shane's spot over there. Oh. The, oh. oh, and there he hit is. right to Blanchard for out number three. We head to the bottom Blanchard of the first. Blanchard with the grab for out number three. The Griffins, no runs on one hit. We head to the bottom of the first, scoreless. And we'll be back. Serving the Santa Maria area for over eight years now, Diversion Dental is proud to support Santa Maria High Athletics and Duck Crew Sports again this season. Located off of Highway 22 on the Diversion Canal, Dr. David Brown provides general dental services in a calm and personal setting. Whether you need a routine dental exam and cleaning or more extensive treatments such as crowns or implants, Diversion Dental can accommodate your case. Now accepting most insurances, so call Kayla today at 698-3728 and go Gators! Glaze Heating and Air. Are you looking to replace your heating and air conditioning system? Look no further than Glaze Heating and Air. Locally owned and operated by Dean and Ursula Glaze. For over 20 years, Glaze Heating and Air has maintained a professional and top-notch reputation with quality installations, unmatched customer service with great warranties and several financing options available. Hurry and call at 225-266-7371 today to schedule a free estimate for the best deal or go online to glazeheatingandair.com. All right, folks, so that was an L4. That was out number three. That's going to go right there, and bam. All right, so leading off here for the Gators, we're going to have Chase Kelly, Lane Swanson, and Trent Laporte. On the mound here for the Griffins is Jordan Oberly. All right, play, play up music, walk up music. Uh, Leading off for of the Gators, number 32, Chase Kelly. All right, so Chase Kelly to lead us off here. 
Overly on the mound for the Griffins. Fouls it back. Starts out here 0 1. So 0 1 count here on Oberly. I mean, on uh, Kelly. Oberly on the mound. <laughs> <laughs> Getting tongue twisted. Evans has the Allen tuned in from the Gulf of Mexico. The Gulf. He's out there on that rig. No say, Gators. Well, he must have some hell of a Wi Fi. Roger Oberly watching from Dallas, Texas. Go Jordan Oberly. He got to be related, man. That, I mean, I just. That got to be his. It got to be his nephew. That's huh? my natural assumption. <laughs> a little high upstairs. There, two one count here. So two balls, one strike. Here on Kelly. Hard hit ball, center field. Center field is going back, 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 back. Still going back, checks the wall and makes the grab at the warning track. We're out number one. Now batting, number seven, Lane Swanson. So Lane Swanson up the bat now here for the Gators. Yeah, I know the Moberleys a little bit. <laughs> Been a couple seasons of ball with him. <laughs> so here we go. Takes first pitch for a strike. So one count here on Swanson. Pops it up. Shortstop calls, makes the grab for out number two. Now with the plate, now with the plate, number 18, Trent Lepore. So Shane says that his boy is at 15 today, but he's filling in for his buddy from Dutchtown. Oh. His buddy probably had the game. He probably had the game. He probably had the game. And takes first pitch for a strike. This is Trent Laporte. So 0 1 count here on, La, on Laporte. Hey, prayers going out to Trent's little brother, I, Luke. I was about to say, man. Yeah, Luke. he had had a little procedure today, and uh, man, I hope he gets gets well quickly. Yeah, man, I believe he went in like a champ. I told him, give him hell. Give him hell. Give man. him hell, man. Give him hell. <laughs> yeah, I believe it was his, his fourth heart, heart surgery, man. So. Yeah. I'm hoping this is last. I hope that. I hope so. And Man. fouls it out of play. Evens the count. Two balls. So two balls, two strikes, two outs. I'm sure mom's tuned in somewhere. Yep. Been thinking about the Laporte family all day, man. Hope everything went well. Leaves it high, yeah. fills the count. Strike three on the outside corner. And we're going to head to the The second. Gators up and down in order. And uh, bottom of the first, we head to the top of the second. Scoreless. And here goes the music. Let's see you who's ready? dancing. Come here. We'll Look, be back. Come here. Get to know SEC Heating and Cooling this year. Locally owned and operated by Stephen Conyers since 2013, SEC Heating and Cooling works with residential and commercial customers in Ascension, East Baton Rouge, Livingston, and surrounding parishes. SEC specializes in preventive maintenance, repair, and complete change-out and installation of energy-efficient central air systems. From professional sales and expert installation of central AC systems to repairs and ductless AC systems, we can handle all your needs. For total peace of mind, call SEC today. Gotro's Outdoor Power, the local leader in outdoor power equipment, is now an authorized Yamaha and Mercury outboard dealer. Next time you need something for your boat, stop in and check out Gotro's Outdoor Power in Gonzales. Gotro's Outdoor Power, from the lawn to the lake, we've got you covered. Highway 44, paint, body, and towing, owned and operated by Wayne and Ryan Wimberly since 1989. Specializing in collision repair for all makes and models, both foreign and domestic. Towing available by request. Visit their Facebook page or call 644-7516.
Jody Ellisor, a Santa Mall High graduate, created Jody's Jambalaya Mix. Ask for it at your local stores or online and enjoy the rich traditional flavor of Jody's Jambalaya. It's easy to prepare and your family will love it. So bring home a taste of Southern Louisiana and cook like a champ. All right, so they're having a little dance off. That little dude in green is like dominating. So here we go, leading off. It's Andrew Fields. Swing and a miss. Now batting for the Griffins, number 14, Andrew Fields. After this batter, we're going to go. You said his name is Brogan? Brody? Brogan. So, 0-2 right. count here on Fields. Ooh. Runs the count here, 1-2. So one ball, two strikes. Ooh, Ooh where that one is. So two, two. The Porta, that's the one you just called on me. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. So fills the count up here. Yeah, Ryan, no. That's a definite no. <laughs> More like Ryan Ponder, Parish president. I mean, what about no, my man no. right here next to me, Chase Melanson? Oh, no, 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 Paris no, 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 no. What? what? No, no, no. <laughs> Count, Councilman is the, the highest prestige you will ever bestow upon me. Man, come on. Well, it's not really the highest. The highest. That, ooh. Voice of the Gators. No, no, no. Got him. Got him. There we go. Uh, Blanchard with the put out for out number one. You already, you already got the highest. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Brogan, who I am told is wearing a green Vayons jersey, number 11, is our dance competition winner. <laughs> Mr. Brogan, after the second inning, you please come to the press box and visit me. All right, so Riker Rogers up to bat now here. For the Griffins. Now batting for the Griffins, number 11, Riker Rogers. Is that a strike oh, well, He's already here. <laughs> Good dancing, dude. Yeah, that was another one. Is it 0 2? 0 2. All right. So 0 2 count here on Riker Rogers. Oh, that's a. That's a Veyron. That's a Veyron, not a Veyron. That's a Veyron. And strike three. Swanson with the strikeout for out number one. No, out number two. Oh, that's right. Out number out. two. Out number two, now batting number 19, Kaysen Johnson. We got too much stuff going on up here. All right. All right, so now we're done. Yeah, we're done. Now we're done. Now we just got to let the little boy talk. Yeah, we're letting him talk in the third, and we're done. Yeah. Whew. This is too much. Man, they, they they putting too much work on us. <laughs> man. This is the work I enjoyed, though. That was fun, man. Oh, but getting back to your highest thing is is your highest thing that you're going to be, like you said, councilman. No, but it's daddy. Oh, God, yeah. Man, you can't miss that. Daddy. Yeah. Fouls it off, and it's one, two. Daddy, daddy. daddy. Right now, mom and dad are, are superheroes. We, put, we, just, we just put the pool in at the house. Yeah. Oh, yeah, bro. They love it. Oh, life. man. They've been swimming since Sunday. Oh, yeah. Hypothermia and all. There we go. Call strike three. Swatson with another strikeout. Griffin's up and down in order in the second. We head to the bottom. Scoreless. We'll be right back. Lane's Jewelry and Design for all your jewelry needs. Stop in and choose from a great assortment of watches, necklaces, rings, earrings, and more. Lane's also provides custom design work and jewelry repair. Call today at 647-3700 or visit online at lanesjewelry.com.
Oak Grove Market, a one-of-a-kind shopping experience, including a full-service drive through In addition to your convenience needs, they feature freshly made foods, brick oven pizzas, fire-blasted wings, sandwiches, and a house-made local favorite chicken salad. Find them on social media or oakgrovemarkets.com. Ascension Parish Farm Bureau Insurance in Gonzales is celebrating 75 years of protecting families in our community and is committed to supporting our local athletes. Call them today at 621-3276. Real service, real people. Ascension Parish Farm Bureau. Pit Stop Exxon for all your convenience store needs located off of Highway 431 in Santa Monica and Highway 44 in Galvez. Pit Stop offers a wide variety of food, snacks, and beverages. Check out the tap room in the full-service drive through at the Galvez store. Stop in today. Pit Stop Exxon. Blanchard to lead the Gators off here in the bottom of the second inning. Swing and a miss, starts out here 0-1. Oberly on the mound here for the Griffins. Gators is being led off by Blanchard, then Ford, then Mole. Right, it up. Be, uh, man, getting back to game Tuesday, Chuck, between these two teams, uh, man, the Gators. Uh, so Wyatt Ford had 10 strikeouts in five innings. The Gators, ooh, that's a pretty pitch. Oh. The Gators will walk 14 times. Golly. Yeah, I think a few of them got hit, too, yeah. also, huh? We scored 13 runs on uh, eight hits and 14 walks. Wow. And a swing and a miss for out number one. Now so. batting for the Gators. Number four, Wyatt Four. So who was our winner? B Brogan? That is uh, Brogan Starkey. Brogan Starkey for Team Veyron. Team Veyron Sausage. That man was cutting like a new pair of scissors. Oh, they got know? a hole down there. He didn't cut a, he cut a hole in the That's floor it. over there. Yeah, we have to get some quick free. Yep. Yeah. That dude was getting it. That man was getting it. He had that mullet just flapping in the wind. He looked kind of like MC Hammer down That's there. Right. I mean, he was, he was, he was, man, he was cutting it up. So, 1-1 one, one count here with one out. Hard hit ball. That ball's going to drop in for a base hit. hit. Left field. Wyatt Ford with the single to left field. And that's going to bring to the plate number three, Ryder Mole. So, Ryder Mole up the bat now here for the Gators with a runner on first and one out. it outside starts out here 1 0. So one ball, no strikes. Mole, um, Mole, 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 Mole had his first home run last weekend, man. Come on, I missed it. I wasn't there either. Man. God, dog, it. it was family weekend at the camp, Easter weekend. I couldn't be here Saturday. Uh, and the that's ball gonna get in through. the gap, gonna have runners at first and second now for Parker Gidry. Mole puts Gators at first and second for number 13, Parker Gidry. So one out here, Parker Gidry up the bat. We got back to back hits here from Ford and Mole. Oh, takes, takes for a strike. Yeah, that was a little high there, dude. So, 0 1 count here on Gidry. Oh, uh, yeah, 0 1. All right, when I seen the pitch, I just hit ball. <laughs> <laughs> so, evens it up 1 1. One ball, one strike. One out, two on. Tied up here, 0 0 in the bottom of the second inning. Ball hitting the gap. They're going to hold him at three. So three straight base hits here by the Gators. Gidry. 
Loads the bases full of Gators for number 22, Jace Moody. So Jace Moody now up the, to bat here for the Gators with bases juiced, one out. Overly on the mound for the Griffins. What's he doing, brother? What's coming? And the pitch. That'll be there. Leaves it low. So 1 0 count. Here on Moody. Ball hit the third base. Third baseman throws to second. They get out at second and a 5 4 3 double play. And we head to the top of the third. The Gators in the second inning, no runs on three hits. We head to the top of the third, scoreless. We'll be back. Looking for insurance with a reputable company but still want to be treated like family? Then local State Farm agent Adam McCarty and his experienced team are your answer for auto, home, and life insurance. Call 647-2151 or visit adammccarty.com. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Where is that? There he is. There the dude. Look, I'm standing over here by me, buddy. All right, brother. All right, so look, I'm. So Logan Mayus is start lead us off. All right, so here we go. So Logan, my you to be leading off here for the Griffins. Number two, Logan Mayu. So behind the dish, we got Trent Laporte. First base, Jace Moody takes for a strike. Second base, Landon Blanchard. Third base, Chase Kelly. Shortstop, right of Mole. Left field, Conador. Center field, Easton Humphrey. Right field, Wyatt Ford. Ball hit to left field. Conador makes the grab for out number one. Conador with the grab for out number one. Are you ready? See. And on the mound for the Gators, Lane Swanson. So Carter Hanberry, clear, clear your count. Oh, never mind. Ball hit. Right field, Wyatt Ford goes back, makes the grab at the warning track for out number two. Wyatt Ford with the grab for out number two. So Dylan Champagne to bat now here for the Griffins with two outs, top of the third. Fouls it off, starts to count out here, 0-1. So no balls, one strike here on Champagne. Unless you're from like the New Orleans area, then you might be Champagne. Champagne. Leaves it outside. So one ball, one strike here on Champagne. Wind up and the pitch, fouls it back, runs the count here, one, two. So one ball, two strikes. <laughs> Call strike three. Swanson with a strikeout for out number three. Griffin's up and down in order in the third. We head to the bottom of the inning, scoreless. So Gay, uh, Griffin's come up, one, two, three, to in the top of the third. We heading to the bottom of the third. 
Leading off the Gators will be Easton Humphrey, then Chase Kelly, and Lane Swanson. And let's see. Let me see who we got. Champagne. Whatever, bro, Wayne. Hey, I say champagne. My grandma's last name was spelled the exact same way, and it was champagne. <laughs> Give air. He's our plant man. He said he needed to leave early because he was going to be filling in at shortstop for Dutchtown. Y'all going to need Aaron Hill, hopefully, to fill in that shortstop, you know. That's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping Dutchtown's going to need him. Man, we need our bats to start getting on right now. Need our bats to get it. Got to, got to. We left three on base last inning. We can't do that this inning. Can't leave three on. Can't hit into the double plays and stuff, you know. I mean, we got we to gotta get it. So Easton Humphrey to lead off here for the Gators. Ball hit up the middle. That's going to be a base hit there for Easton. Humphrey with a shot to center field. Number 32, Chase Kelly. So Chase Kelly here. Chase Kelly. I'm trying to get rid of some of these uh, spammers, folks. It's hard. I mean, they don't even, they, they got, they, they like typing in French or something. Yeah, them bots, uh, spammers. I mean, it just, like, it's so stupid. So 2-1. Little look back at first, no go. So 2-1 count. Fouls it off, evens it up 2-2. That one's going across Church Point. Sun going down, got some weird shadows starting to fall in. Right fielder's kind of liking it because he's finally got a little bit of shade to get in. So two balls, one strike here on Kelly. Third ball, he did what he had to do, fouled it off. Count stays 2-2. Two -two. Fouled off, look for another one. So 2-2 two -two count here on Kelly. Oberly checks the runner at first. He's back in time. And leaves it for a ball, fills the count up. So three balls, two strikes. Come on, Kelly, let's get a little piece of one right here, kid. Let's go. Base hit ball four. Let's go. Leaves it inside. It don't matter. It's ball four. Here we go. So he draws the walk. So Lane Swanson up to bat now here for the Gators. 
with runners at first and second with no outs. Takes for a strike. Bro, these bots are unbelievable. Like they's un it's like uncontrollable. So 0 1 count. Shows bunt, fouls it off, runs the count, 0 2. But of course, everybody I see that's tuning in is all names that, like, foreign names. Jeez, I hate Facebook. Leaves it outside. Runs the count one, two. So one ball, two strikes here on Swanson. And two, two. Humphrey, the runner at second. Kelly, the runner at first. Oh, he wants to. Fills it up. Oh, they balked him. Okay, so it's still 2-2. Two -two. So two balls, two strikes. Runners now at second and third. What was that, a ball? Okay, oh yeah, all right, so full count. Here we go, full count. So full count here on Swanee. Hard hit ball, center field. Center field's going back, 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 back. Camps out, makes the grab. And that's gonna be a sacrifice fly. The Gators go up by one. Swanee brings home Eastern Humphrey for run number one for the Gators. Hard hit ball, left field, left fielder though, makes the grab. Runners coming home. And gonna be out. Yep. So we head to the top of the fourth. Gators leading though here, one to zero. And we'll be back. One run on one hit. We head to the fourth, your Gators one, Griffin zero. Ladies and gentlemen, please give Mr. Broken Starkey a round of applause. Hey, uh, Little kid did pretty good, huh? He did good. He did real good, man. He said the names all correctly and all, and, and that's all you want. You just want somebody to that's say the it. names. He seen Trent on deck. He got nervous. He said, Trent's my favorite. <laughs> Trent's my favorite. <laughs> he said, Trent's my favorite. <laughs> he got starstruck. That's it. Yeah. That's why Kids Night is so cool. All right. So. So, the Griffins will be leading off with Casey McCoy, Dylan DeSherry, and Cade DeLone. Gators going to have behind the dish Trent Laporte, first base Jace Moody, second base Landon Blanchett, third base Chase Kelly, shortstop Ryder Mole, left field Connor Dar, center field Easton Humphrey, right field Wyatt Ford, and back on the mound here for the Gators is Lane Swanson. So Casey McCoy to lead off here for the Griffins of Dutchtown. 
Leading off for the Griffins, number seven, Casey McCoy. So Casey McCoy steps into the box here for the Griffins. Huge crowd here, standing room only. We do want to thank everybody that came here tonight. Was thank y'all. That was a ball, 1-0 count. Thank you, everybody that showed up. Phenomenal crowd. Line drive down the line to the left field. He's rounding first, heading to second. They better get it in or he's going to go three. He's looking. And they get the ball in, so that's going to be a stand-up double there for McCoy. Now batting number 10, Dylan DeSherry. So Dylan DeSherry up to bat now here for the Griffins. Ball hit to Kelly. Kelly checks the runner a second, throws the first, gets the out. Great play right there by Kelly. Kelly with the 5-3 put out for out number one. Now batting number 26, Cade DeLone. So Cade DeLone next up here. Bro, I ain't had this many bots in a long time. I to say, I see them thumbs working over there. Like, this is – Stupid. Like, they must have threw my feed to the other side of the world or something. So, fouls it off. 0-1 count. Cade DeLone batting now here for the Griffins. Lane Swanson on the mound for the Gators. All right, I'm back on the headphones, Chuck. I, I had to take them off while. while yeah, when you're teaching that little kid yeah. how, to, how, to, how to be an announcer. Mr. Brogan up here. He did a good job. Boy, he was not nervous. Man. Which we should have known from his dance moves. Oh, yeah. We should have known then that he was Oh, not. that dude, he wasn't nervous about nothing. He was dancing in front of, I guarantee there's a stand-up capacity crowd of about <laughs> 3,000. I think, yeah, yeah well, uh, three, th maybe 2,900, maybe. 29, maybe. Somewhere between 29 to 3,200. Somewhere around there, yeah. I didn't have a clicker, like, like, mm -hmm. a, like a bouncer at the club, you know, click, 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 click counting the people, but. It's pretty close. Oh, yeah. It's an 0 2 count here on DeLong. Hits one in right Ooh. center field. It's going to drop. Four is going to field it. You got to throw it in. And they're going to hold the runner at third. So now they have runners on the corners. Now batting number 14, Andrew Fields. So Andrew Fields grounded out his first at bat. Steps up now here for the Griffins with runners on the corners and one out. Shows bunt, lays it down, throws the first and throw it away. And so runners will stay in the corners and they will play the run on that squeeze play right there. And they will remain runners at the corners. Now batting number 11, Riker Rogers. So Riker Rogers up the bat, expect the same thing. Yeah. That was a very pretty bunt. Yeah. Oh, oh no. and throws it to the dugout. In the dugout. Oh. Man, oh, man. And he's going to send him to third. Yep. Two bases. So Griffins now take the lead here, two to one. We're in the top of the fourth inning. Foul ball. 
attempted bunt. Looked like it hit the tip of the bat. 0-1 count here. Mr. Rick is going to come out. Have a little talk. Have a little talk. All right, discussion's over. He said, settle down, Let's throw the ball. You're doing good, come on, just settle down. Let's play the game that we know. So Riker Rogers at the plate now here for the Griffins with one out. Fouls it off, runs the count here, 0-2. With a runner at third. So no balls, two strikes here on Rodgers. And the pitch, swing and a miss. Oh, they say he fouls it. Oh, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Too late now. Yep, too late. Maybe getting his head. So still 0-2. Yeah. I didn't hear the tip. Me neither. And runs the count here, one, two. I know it's a little louder than normal, folks, but that is a crowd of roughly 3,000 people out here tonight. Yeah. Top five left field. Mole. So, Mole goes back and makes the grab. Mole goes back and makes the grab for out number two. Now to plate number 19, Kaysen Johnson. So Kaysen Johnson up the bat. Now here for the Griffins with two outs. Swanson on the mound for the Gators. Leaves it up and out for ball one, 1-0 one -oh count here on Johnson. Gators trailing here two to one. Gators took the, the, the first lead of the game and then they took the second ball, hit right side. Wyatt Ford goes to his right, camps out, makes a fire and makes the grab. Wyatt Ford with the grab for out number three. In the fourth inning, the Griffins, two runs on two hits. We head to the bottom of the fourth. Your Gators trailing by one. All right. Needed that. Bruh, these bots are unbelievable. Bam. Delete. Jeez, I'm they getting on my nerves. That's why I like I hate Facebook. All right. So Gators going to be lead, led off here by Landon Blanchard, Wyatt Ford, and Ryder Mole here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Looks like, is that still Oberly on the mound? I think it is. Should be. Let me see. Let me see your face. Yeah, that's Oberly. Oberly? You yeah. don't even need the number, huh? Just no, the face. I know his face. I know his face. So, so Landon Blanchard to lead off here for the Gators. Off for the Gators. Number 11, Landon Blanchard. So Landon Blanchard steps into the box here for the Gators. And the pitch takes first pitch for a strike. 0 1 count here on Blanchard. And leaves it low, 1-1. One, one. People still coming in. We might mm -hmm. push our numbers to over 3,200. That's right. We might hit 3,300 tonight. Bruh, man, they still coming. It's the fourth inning. They are rolling in. And oh, they say he went, so 1-2. Mm -hmm. Three umpires here tonight. Yeah. I like that. I like that. No. Big key game like that. Boy. Normally for district games, they got three, but I not, like all, it. not always. Well, I know they umpire shortage, so. Yeah. Oh, oh, great play right there by at first base. Man, that was 
He was able to turn on that ball, get a, get the bat on it, and then. Now batting number four, Wyatt Ford. So Wyatt Ford leading off here. Not leading off, but up next, rather. So a one count. Just for a minute. Oh, inside, a little chin music, 1-1. One, one. Say go get, we're talking here, say go Gators. No? Okay. He's shy. He's being shy. It might be the first time in his life. Fouls it off, runs the count, 1-2. Say go Gators. Okay. He said, I don't want, I don't to. want to. All right, 1-2 here on four. We got Mr. Mole on deck. Hard hit ball, second Ooh, baseman goes yeah. over, makes the what grab, throws the first. Great play there by the second baseman. So back to back, great plays on the right side. Now batting number three, Ryder Mole. So Ryder Mole up next now here for the Gators. Mole with a single on the day, looking to add to that tally. Parker Guidry on deck for the Gators. Leaves it for a strike. So, 0-1 count here on Mole. Leaves it low, evens it up 1-1. Joe's bunt, fouls it off, runs the count one, two. Tried to sneak one down that third base line, third baseman playing kind of back. One, two count here on Mole. And the Gators were two really good hit balls, but two excellent defensive plays by the Griffins. Yeah, I mean, it was back to back, too. I was like, golly. So, two balls, two strikes, two outs. And fills it up. Let's go, Ryder. Come on, kid. Base hit, ball four. Let's go, ball four, base hit. Base hit, ball four. Let's do it. Come on. Mole, 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 mole. There we go. Draws the walk. Mole draws the walk, bring it to the plate. Number 13, Parker Guidry. So Parker Guidry up the bat now, has a single on the day, looking to add to his totally, his totally, his totally, his tally. Totally, totally. <laughs> Golly, I'm just making up words over here. That's what we do, folks, we make stuff up. We're good storytellers. We can tell a good story. We get the microphones. We can do whatever we want. Yeah, I mean, tell a good story. Like a, I know we didn't have it on camera, but you should have saw the guy that showed up riding a horse a while ago. Yeah. They had to escort <laughs> him out. You know, they're like, dude, you can't ride a horse in here. Yeah, I know we're in Santa Monica. Come on. Yeah, I mean, come on, man. Game. We ain't got none of those equestrian signs. You know, the warning <laughs> signs. So he had to he had to leave. So one one count here on Gidry. So one one count, leaves it high, two one. Mole the runner at first. You got two outs. Jace Moody on deck. Attempted pickoff. He's back in time. Tons of kids out here with tons of travel ball jerseys and and AP baseball jerseys and. Nationwide. Bro, they just all over. And 
It don't matter where you put your kid at, whether it's a travel ball or a rec league, folks. Just get them playing some ball. Let's see. Sign them up. They might not think they like it until they go out there and see that they like it. Gidry draws the walk to put Gators in first and second for number 22, Chase Moody. Hop on board, folks. Chase Moody up the bat now here for the Gators. Oh, and we got a timeout situation. Coach Troy Tomblay coming to have a talk with Oberly. Oh, it was a beautiful day. Still a beautiful day here. It's a beaut. It's a beaut, Clark. That little dude down there, look at him jamming, boy. That's it, boy. We got some right foot creeping going on. Man, look, they doing, doing something. <laughs> they all doing the same dance. Right foot creep. Oh, what is that? It's like a line dance? It's a modern day line dance. Oh, okay. I got you. All right, so here we go. Jace Moody up the bat now here for the Gators. Runners at first and second with two outs. Gators trailing here by one of a score of two to one. They'll check the runner at two. Moody hitting to a 5-4-3 double play last time. He's looking to find a gap this time, though. He's Huge gap. gap in between first and second base. Leaves it outside. 1 0 count. 1 0 count here. Do got a uh, number six, Easton Humphrey, on deck. That boy's fast. That boy's fast. Man. Oh, that boy is. He's not fast. Trent Laporte fast, but he's fast. Bro, Trent Laporte, I mean, I'd like to time him in the 40. I guarantee he's like a 3 9. Yeah. Man, that dude just. That man is fast. Golly. And at the same time, Trent Laporte is not Connor Molay's on fast. Cool. <laughs> But he's still fast. That dude was fast. So 2 0 count here on Moody. Come on, kid, find a gap. Hit it where they ain't. There we go. 3 0. And 3 0. Oberly, his last few pitches a little elevated, most of them. Keep elevating. <laughs> and yeah. takes the strike. I mean, I like that kid overly. He, he's a good kid. But right now, I hope we can rip him. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, kid. Sorry. <laughs> like that. That's it. That's it. Drop, Get drop, down. drop. There, there it, is. it is. That falls in. And tie and run coming into play. Safe, uh -huh. safe, safe. Moody brings home Mo Lave for the game tie and run. Score now knotted up at two. Now at the plate, number six, Easton Humphrey. All right, so Easton Humphrey up to bat now here for the Gators. Humphrey with a single on the day. And the pitch leaves it outside. I don't see anybody in the uh, Griffin bullpen either here, Chuck. No. Last three batters over these little, just lost his control a bit. What, a uh, single walk single? Uh, Walk, walk single. Walk, walk single. Yeah, walk, uh, walk single. Okay. Ooh, that's too high. Way high. Too high. Wait, he's going at, on oh, the warning the track. Wall. I didn't think it was that far. Golly, me neither. He, if he would eat a little bit more, that one would have went over the wall. <laughs> Your Gators in the bottom of the fourth. One run on one hit to tie the game at two. We head to the fifth. Yeah, if he just eats just a little bit more. If he eats like me, if he eats like me, he'd, he'd put it on the dome. That's it. You know, because I like to eat. He hit the dome. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh-oh. Look, they're getting down. They like you. That's it. We got DJ Cool. They like your DJing skills. Nobody likes it as much as Andy Ford. 
What? That dude likes it? Oh, that man been busting a move all night. Bro, that is what I am talking about. Man, I think they played this oh, when I, I was just, young. I just had the, the, the home plate umpire was Come on, umpire out, was getting it? Cutting off. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I like that me. All right, we, we're in the top of the fifth. We, we nodded up here. All right, so behind the dish, Trent Laporte. First base, Jace Moody. Second base, Landon Blanchard. Third base, Chase Kelly. Shortstop. Right of Mole, left field, Conador, center field, Easton Humphrey, right field, Wyatt, Humph uh, Wyatt forward. And on the mound for the Gators, Lane Swanson. Leading off for the Griffins, number two, Logan Mayu. Mayu, Mayu, I don't know. Ma Mayu, I always Mayu. called him Mayu. Mayu. Come on, Chris. Get on down. Get on that other there. side, boy. <laughs> Look, so, man, I, I can't go the whole broadcast without mentioning Chris's brother, Neil Shakespeare. Yeah, I know Neil. Oh, he went. Yes, he did. So, I'm going to tell you, man. So, uh, I've been working with Neil for a decade now, you know, over there. Okay. The plant, yeah. And there's only two phenomenal operators at OxyChem Gosma. And both of them are Neil Shake Snyder. That's what I'm talking about. And he if, ought to get double the pay. And if you don't believe me, just ask, ask him. Ask him, huh? He'll tell you. I mean, he ought to get paid for two people. He should. I mean, golly. That, that's the type of dude he is. That dude's phenomenal is what I heard. No, nah, he's a good dude over a bunch of – They good people, man. I they, love giving him a hard time. They good people. Uh-oh, home plate took one to the – So, how y'all doing All right. I don't know if he got him in the growing, but it was in that vicinity. Yeah, they got to go talk a little while. And they yeah. Be like, yeah, I'm yeah, good. Yeah, man, I, I'm good. You good, man? Yeah, yeah. I'm good. Everybody good. Hang on to side of my throat. <laughs> Get him out of here, all right. <laughs> Oh, Lord. It's like that little video. He said you go from from nothing to excruciating pain in three, two, three. one. So it'll be a little basic there. My you. Now batting, number 22, Carter Hanbury. So Carter Hanbury up to bat now here for all the Griffins. Hanbury 0 for 2 on a day. Got a ground out and a fly out. Let's see if we can get him out again. This at bat. So Mayu, the runner at first. Leaves it for a strike, 0 1. So, Chuck, so far I've gotten five text messages uh -oh. about my uh, my Neil Shake Snyder joke. Oh, Lord. And they love it. <laughs> <laughs> they love it. Everybody on the shelf, huh? Everybody. <laughs> And outside, evens it up 1-1. One, one. Neil's a good dude. Oh, he's a That whole family, dude. that whole family, all them Shake Snyders. I mean, you know, uh, even though Chris is wearing purple, you know, he's still a good guy. He's still a good he's dude. He's still a good guy. Man, I'm going to tell you what, uh, man, so every year, well, I say every year, for the last three years. Three since, years, yeah. yeah. Since, uh, since AP Baseball has taken over since your parents. Yeah. Man, so the little uh, – Meeting and or orientation for the All Stars. Yeah. So Bravo and Coach Shea Snyder for the last three years come and talk to all those nine, ten, eleven, twelve year olds. Pops in kids. the foul territory, out of play. Out of play. Uh huh. Man, and I, I just think that's so cool, right? They're seeing two, two of the, the premier, highest, hi, yeah, the, high school. That's right. The coaches, you know, coaches. For the two premier programs on a Wednesday night are going to talk to them. That's awesome. I always enjoy that. So two balls, two strikes, one on, no outs. Hanbury. Tell you what, I'm still having PTSD for Mr. Hanbury from the football game this past season. Yeah, yeah. That was a grown man on a football field. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A grown man. Yep, good ball player, definitely a good ball player. So two balls, two strikes, and the pitch. Swing and a there miss for out number one. Swanson with the strikeout for out number one. That's going to bring up Dylan Champagne. Now with the plate, number four, Dylan Champagne. He's 0 for 2 with two strikeouts here on the day. Uh, what 
is uh, what's Swanson's strikeout count? Uh, oh, pick off attempt, safe. Uh, one, two, three, four. Four. Okay. He's at four right now. No, I'm sorry, five. Five? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. One, okay. two, three, four. Five. Yeah, five. I'm sorry. Five. That'll work. Saw one. I missed it. Ooh, Ooh curveball falls in for a strike. Hard to beat. So, one count. Here on Champagne. Good pitch, O2. Go. Bro, I am so sick of these bots. Jeez. Like I, like, I wish they'd let us pay, like, five ninety nine a month, you know, or whatever, just to not have bots. Yeah. Left field. Kind of door trouble. running in. Yeah. Oh, it's going to Oh, it's going to drop. Oh, he's going to get him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Ooh. Seven to three there. That's what I'm talking about. Dar with the 73 put out for out number two. So he. What a recovery. He's going to be. Now batting number seven, Casey McCoy. A double. What a recovery a there seven, by Connor Dar. 75 for out number two. Good job. And they're going to intentionally walk him here. Now batting number 10, Dylan DeSherry. So Casey McCoy intentionally walked. Going to bring up Dylan DeSherry. McCoy is the one that hit the double previous at bat. DeSherry with a single. And shot to Mole, Mole. Hamudi out number three. Mole, Mole, Mole with the 6 3 put out for out number three. We head to the bottom of the fifth, knotted up. Whoo, that was a good one. I know we don't need to say it, but if, if you're on Facebook, those bots, do not click on them, please, folks. Ain't nothing but scammers. I'm trying to block them as quickly as they post. But it is tough to keep up. And it might not be a bot. It might be a real person. If it's a real person, that's some just... They need to get a life. So make sure this is still, nope, number 19 on the mound now. Here for the Griffins. I mean, on the mound. Who is this? Who is this? Who is this? Chase Kelly. All right, so Chase Kelly to lead the Gators off. I'm sorry, y'all. was trying to trying to play. Help my boy. DJ. Oh, I had to take a restroom break. Chuck was. I was trying, bro. He was multitasking times, too. I was trying. You don't do it for so long. You got to kind of, like, <laughs> remember which side the, the walk-up songs is That's on. That's it. Takes for a strike, evens it up 1-1. One, one. I'm going to talk to Bravo. He's might like he's going to give us, like, a maybe get us a Porter John right That's here. Right. You know? With a key that wow. we know that way we just me and you use it. Just, just us two. <laughs> I like it. We get that right after the Ethernet cable. Yeah, yeah. After the Ethernet, I wish I had an Ethernet port. That would be so awesome if we had an Ethernet port. There we go. Yeah, but no. Three like, one here on Kelly. They're like, guess what? 
we got we got internet and they got this big old box behind me like just like like teasing me and don't give me a port they're like ha, we gotta show him and fills the count up they're like yeah look we got internet there no port oh thank you appreciate y'all yeah Fouls it off, stays alive. Full count here. Getting some fat jokes. Apparently, I'm breathing a little hard. Because, well, I mean, fat people got to breathe heavier. That's what we got to do. <laughs> Isn't that wrong a, with us? That's a long run in about a minute and a half. Yeah, oh. swing and a miss. Well, the thing about it, too, is, I mean, I don't know about you, but I think every week they add three steps. That's right. Now to play. Number seven, Lane Swanson. Yeah, every time I go up those steps, I swear they add three more. They get longer and longer. Yeah. Taller and taller. So Lane Swanson up the bat now here for the Gators. Takes for a ball. Swanson with a fly out and a sack fly. Looking to get his first hit here of the game. Too high, out of play. Evens it up, 1-1. So one ball, one strike. I'm sorry. Yeah, one ball, one strike. And the wind up and the pitch. Ooh. That was close. Looked like a ball to me. <laughs> always. It always looked like a ball. It always looks foul. It always looked like an out. Yep, that was definitely a ball. And inside. Oh, that he make up call. Come on, man. Come on, man. So we all knotted up at two, folks. Here in the bottom of the fifth. Hard hit ball. Too high, though. Center fielder is going back, camping out. Oh, he lost it in the lost lights. It. He lost, lost it. it. Let's go. There we go. That might be. A little bit of lady luck that we needed. Swanson standing on second base for number 18, Trent LaFoy. That's going to be marked as a double, bro. I mean, that's not an error. Running at second base for the Gators, number 27, Rhett Martin. So, Rhett the Jet Martin, the runner at second. He al he's almost as fast as Trent. Almost, almost, almost. Make him pay here, Trent. So 1-0 count here on Laporte. Leaves it outside 2-0. So two balls, no strikes here on Laporte. 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 So 2 0. Fouls it back. Runs the count 2 1. So two balls, one strike here on Laporte. So 2 1. One out, runner at second. Red the Jet looking to come around those bases. So 3 1. I did see earlier in the top of the fifth, the Gators had someone warming up in the bullpen, but I could never see who it was. Oh, I didn't either. And draws the walk. Draws the walk. Gators at first and second base for number 11, Landon Blanchard. Right for the Gators at first, number 30, and then Mie. How do you like your new microphone? I absolutely love it. You love it? I, I love it. Are you in love? I am in love. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. I don't have to, that's another thing I don't have to hold. Right, right. Oh, I love it, man. Takes for a strike. Love it. So Landon Blanchard up to bat has a strikeout and a line drive out. 
feel really official too. Like, you know, yeah. a PA announcer. That's what I'm talking about. Shouldn't have to hold it, right? Right, you right. You got that stationary mic. Yeah. Did that cord work, by the way, or you didn't no, try it? I didn't even try it. We ain't got time. We ain't got time. We can maybe do it after. We'll test drive it later. Yeah. Oh, oh ball gets by. Runner's going to advance. There we go. That's what we need right here, boys. So runners at second and third now with one out. We just need a ball somewhere in that outfield. Chuck, did you know we had a new pitcher? Oh yeah, that was that was yeah oh, number Kaysen 19, nineteen, okay. Casey Johnson. I'm I, sorry. I didn't even realize we had. A new I was pitcher. I was about ready to look at that, and you came in, and they were walking up, and I was trying to find the thing. Mm -hmm. I apologize, Casey Johnson, fine young man. Also, uh, he played he played with us a few one or two years, something like that. I, I know him well. I think he played, was he the same team as Oberly? He might be the same team as Oberly. So 2-1 count. Oh, there goes Troy Tomplay, Coach Troy Tomplay. Go have a talk with his pitcher. So Landon Blanchard is the one at the bat with 2-1 count, one out. Runners at second and third. Bro, you ain't going to believe this. What? Do you want to know what kind of principle? Put it a little closer. Uh, yeah, I can't hear you. Do you want to know what kind of principle Kelly Gonzalez is? What she said. On vacation. Yeah. Her and Casey on vacation. Yeah. No kids on that. And they right. by themselves. Right. She said, look, she sent the screenshot, look. Just put in a work order with APSB for the Ethernet cable in the press box. Oh. <laughs> while, while on vacation. On Pretty vacation. <laughs> I love you, Kelly Gonzalez. Oh. Thank you so much. Make sure you tell them we need, like, no no firewalls, though. Because <laughs> they won't let us through the firewall. Thank you so much. Just like the one we need the one just like at the pit, at the top of the pit yeah. that, that Etail uses. Or oh, Rev. Whatever. Yeah, Rev. That's my girl. Look, if there's one thing I know about me and Kelly's relationship, what we got? she gets so tired of me complaining about anything. She's just like, you know what? <laughs> Damn it, Chase. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> That's it. We appreciate you, Kelly. Thank you so much. And the only oh, oh, there we go. Drop, drop, drop. Oh, it down. will fall. That's going to play the run. That's going to play two. One and two. Let's go. Blanchard, Blanchard with the two RBI single for the Gators to put him back ahead, four to two. So huge hit there by Blanchard. Now at the plate, number four, Wyatt Ford. So Wyatt Ford up the bat now here for the Gators what with one out, I runner at first. I couldn't tell if it was going to reach the right field or not. Yeah, it was close, man. Like it, it just close. died. It went out there and died. Man, I'll tell you what, give uh, me it. Give me it credit. Oh, he was on his heels, bro. He, he was on third base by yeah. the time the ball hit the ground. Yep. I did not Ooh, think he was too high. score. Back it up. Get back to first. And that's going to be out number two. Now in the plate, number three, Ryder Mole. So Ryder Mole at the bat here with a single and a walk on the day. No, and the only reason like, why we request that Ethernet port is because, I mean, we are on my hotspot, but we all know how cell service is. Like, I could all of a sudden just T-Mobile could just go Poof, and it'd be gone. What it happened last year. It Remember, happened last uh, year, a crucial game. Uh, Parkway playoffs. Yeah, yes. I had to turn on my uh, hotspot. Your hotspot, phone, yeah. And then we ran out of data. Right, Because right. I'm too cheap to pay for unlimited hotspot. It, right. Because you never unlimited. I mean, when you need like unlimited you, Like, you don't need unlimited, you know? I mean, like a councilman needs unlimited whenever he's out there, way out in the, in the in, in, right. it, when he's fishing at the camp and he don't Ooh, even have. Hard hit ball. Uh, and don't even have cell service, you know? The Gators in the fifth inning, two runs on one hit to retake the lead over to Griffins. We head to the sixth. Your Gators four, Griffins two. 
I mean, it'd be different if you was at the, the camp, you know, and you had good sales service and you can use it. But your camp, you ain't got no sales service. So why get it? Because you can't use it. So that is actually – Probably my favorite reason in the world why my camp is my favorite place in the world. Because <laughs> your phone don't work. <laughs> yeah, 90% of the time, it does not work. There you go. I'm going to call Chase Malonson right now and find out why they didn't dig my ditch. Not while he's in <laughs> Pure Park. <laughs> Good luck. Then as soon as you get back to America over here, your you, you message is all your voicemails uh, just blow up. That's it. So behind the dish for the Gators, Trent Laporte, first base, Jace Moody, second base, Landon Blanchard, third base, Chase Kelly, shortstop, right of Mole, left field, Conador, center field, Easton Humphrey, right field, Wyatt Ford. And on the mound here for the Gators, Lane Swanson comes out for inning number six. How did Mole get out last time? I, I don't even remember. Uh, he hit the ball. Leading off for the Griffins, number 26, K. DeLong. Center field. It was center field. Yep. Center field. Yep, yep. I remember that. Center field. You want to listen outside? How about that? The outside. Gym. How about some of that? So, K. DeLong, the lead off here for the Griffins. We're going to have K. DeLong, Andrew Fields, Riker, Rogers. DeLong with a line drive out and a single on the day. Swing and a miss. Starts out here 0-1. So, 0-1 count. We are in the top of the sixth inning, folks. Gators leading here, score four to two. It has been a great ball game so far. Curveball falls in for strike number two. Gators started out one nothing, and then Dutchtown came out and tied it up one one. Then Dutchtown went ahead two to one. Then the Gators put two on the last. No scored. No tied it up to tied two up two. two. Yep, and then then just now put two two runs up to go ahead by Landon, two. Landon Blanchard. Two RBI single to right field and uh, two courtesy runners, Brett Martin and Andon Mia. How fast was Mia? Mia was – Like he was pushing almost Martin. That, that's it. You know? He's showing full count here, Chuck. Oh, full? That's what he's saying. Oh. Ooh, and he hits it. It don't matter that time. It don't matter what the count was. Can't do that. Come on, Lane. Can't do that, man. Got to get some outs. Now batting, number 14, Andrew Fields. So Fields with a ground out and a single on the day. <coughs> Tell you what, this game has been what the hype was. That's it. You know? Two top five teams in the state. Yep. Two good pitchers, some good hitting, timely hitting. Good programs just overall, both of them. Kudos to Coach Bravada and Coach Shea Snyder. Um, so, Chuck, it looks like we got a uh, – Got a little action going on in their bullpen. Yeah, but I'm looking at the on deck circle. The on deck circle is not number 11, Riker Rogers. It is number one, Eli, Eli Freeman. Okay. And they do have some action. Well, Miss Beverly, I can't do the replays, baby. Can't do that. I don't have the budget or the manpower to do all that. Yeah. <laughs> we barely got the man, manpower to do what, to we, do what do. we do. Yeah. And y'all lucky Chuck's as good as he I'm is. A, I'm going to tell you, we got me and Chase, okay? Me and Chase. And we're running Duck Roost. Right. The actual game, the scoreboard, the PA. Yeah. The walkout music. Everything. And, and the DJ booth. And Rev has one, two, three in the booth, one on that camera. They got another they, camera. They got three out there. Yeah, three outfield cameras. So, I mean, <laughs> I can't compete with that, that y'all. <laughs> That's why whenever Chuck's not here, you get me an iPad. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> one thing that they got that, that we don't have, though, is Mark Moeller. Mark Moeller. Man, Mark Moeller, bro. That's who they got, bro. They got Mark Moeller. I've been trying to recruit him over to our side, you know, but he said, ain't no way I can wear black and gold. <laughs> Let's see. Never mind. It was a fake out. Yeah, boy, if I can just recruit that Mark Moeller to come over to Duck Roost one day, that would be so awesome, huh? So we do have a pinch hitter. It's not number one. It's number Who? 28, Ryland Mayo. Who? Rylan Mayo. Oh, my, another Mayu? Mayu. Okay, Mayu, all right. Mayu. 
Oh, excuse, excuse me, y'all. Uh, that one caught up on me. It's like stuck up on me. Uh, I didn't mean to call it from your ear. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to call from your ear. I tried, man. My finger got to the button too too slow. Too slow. So who this is? My you. This is a uh, right, right, Ryland. Now batting for the Griffins, number twenty-eight, Ryland Mayu. So Ryland Mayu, he's batting for Rogers. He's batting for Rogers. Okay, so Ryland Mayu, up to bat now here for the Griffins. Yeah, he is batting in place of uh, number eleven, Riker Rogers. Yeah. What was that? A little trickery. A little trick 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 trickery. I, I thought Mole was going to the dugout. Right. He, had, he had enough. Yeah, I had enough, <laughs> Coach. I'm done. I'm done with this. I'm tired of playing short. I want to play third. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. Runners at first and second. Tying run at first. Gators looking to get an out. Shows bunt, oh, lays it down, one. and they can be safe. That's a good bunt. So right base there. hit, bunt for a base hit. Tell you what, their their small ball game has been on point. Now batting number nineteen, Kaysen Johnson, has been on point today. Wait, yep, yeah, and uh, yeah, so Griffin's got bases loaded here, no outs, top of the six. So infield's in. Plays at four. Let's go four. Let's go. Let's do a. Uh, let's go to home to first right here. A little double play action or something, you know. And the pitch fouls it off left side. Starts to count out here. 0 1. Like somebody going to the ball. Oh, he's going to get the ball. We did have someone warming up here recently, but I, I just couldn't see who couldn't it was. Couldn't see who it was. Never turned around. Uh oh, there you go. All right, so evens it up 1 1. Good job there, the fork. Keep it in front of you. Keep it on that side of the plate. <clears throat> so one ball, one strike. Bases juiced. Gators looking for an out. Ball hit to Kelly. Kelly throws the four to three. Double play ball right there. I called it a while ago. There we go. There we go. Gators with a 5-2-3 double play. Five, two, three, one. Now in the plate, number two, Logan Mayu. Two, and runners at second and what a third. Play. I told you to go forward and go. That's it. Man, I, 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 I don't care what you said. Just called it. You wanted two and we got two. You get full. Now I just want to out at first. That's it. <laughs> That's Let's awesome. see if that works again. Let's just see if it works again. So runners at second and third with two outs here. Gators looking to get this third out and get out this little get out this inning here. Something going on with uh Laporte. Laporte. Do uh Dutchtown has their leadoff hitter, Mr. Hanbury, is on deck. Top of the lineup. So either here or top of the seventh. Either way, Griffin's top of the order is coming up. Mayu with a fly out and a ground. Oh, a fly out and a single. Fly out and a single, yeah. I think he had an RBI. He, he had the sing, yeah, he had that single, but it was at seven to five that he threw out from uh, uh, at third you. base. Like, like he was on base, but then he just kept on coming That's and we right. got him. That's right. That's right, Shane. I can see the future, man. See the future. See the future. Ooh, good pitch there right go. there. So 0 1 count here on Mayu. Gotta be brothers in two Mayus, huh? I think the Mayus got like 15 kids. They, they, they got a bunch of them. Yeah. <laughs> they all are either brothers or first cousins. Right? <laughs> they something, I don't know. I know when we played football, I know they had a lot of boys. Uh, I, just, I don't remember how many, but. So here we go. 0-2 count. Come on, let's get him right here. Right here. Right here, Lane. Shakes him off. Here he comes. Yeah. Call strike three. Lane Swanson, ladies and gentlemen, for the strikeout. 
The Griffins leave two on, no runs. We head to the bottom of six. Your Gators four, Griffins two. Bro, I was sitting here showing zero outs. Nobody told, nobody. Nobody told me that it was, I forgot to mark the double play two outs, you know. I mean, <laughs> I mean nobody helping me out. <laughs> so, coming to the bottom of the sixth inning. T tell me when was the last time you see someone get out of a bases loaded no out cool. jam without giving up a run. Without a run. A single run. Unbelievable. It all started off with Chase Kelly with that yeah. with that uh, five play. to two to, to three double play there. Was the last time Great job. Five, by two, three, double play. Five, two, three, <laughs> double play with, uh, with, with Trent Laporte getting that ball, touching the plate and firing on over to first base. Phenomenal play there. And then just now with that straight. Oh, Miss Bravada is winning the dance contest. You ought to say that out loud. And Lauren Bravado wins the dance contest. Miss Bravada, your actual dance contest winner. <laughs> oh, I love watching her because she has fun uh, at the she ball game. She is so fun. All right, who this is? Parker Guidry. Batting for the Gators, number 13, Parker Guidry. So here we go, Parker Guidry. You want to hear the game? How about that? There we go. And takes first place. Is it 1 1? Oh, that was the first pit. 1 1, 1 1, 1 1. Yep. So one ball, one strike here on Guidry. Oh, leaves. There we go. Ooh. 2 1. <laughs> I thought it was a strike. 2 1. So two balls, one strike here on Guidry. Fouls it off over Church Point. That's $8 gone. $8. See, like, there's one, one that, like, when we hit it over, the only time we lose our ball right there on this side is if it goes in the ditch. Like, we're able to still go <laughs> retrieve it in the yards. Yeah. Dutchtown's kind of the same dilemma as us, though. If they lose one off to the left side, it goes into their swamp. The swamp? And they, like, is it bluff swamp? Whatever that little swamp is behind them, like, you ain't getting that ball back. No matter, we, no wonder why we can't get the drainage right in bluff. Yeah. It's plugged up with oh, baseball. Oh, call, call, call straight, straight three. three. Yeah, it's plugged up with baseballs. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about that one, bro. Now batting for the Gators, number 22, Jace Moody. I'm on board, folks. Here we go. Jace Moody up the bat now here for the Gators. Moody, one for two here on the day. Looking to add to that tally. on the hit side. So 1-0 count here on Moody. And 2-0. So two balls, no strikes. Johnson on the mound here for the Griffins. Fouls it off, runs the count 2-1. So two balls, one strike on Mr. Moody. That's not his temperament. That's just his name. <laughs> when he gets moody, he puts one over that scoreboard. <laughs> and a swing and a miss. Evens the count here, 2-2. Two -two. So, come on, Mr. Moody, 2-2. Two -two. Let's go, kid. Let's take one for a little ride right here. A little ride. Anywhere besides a leather glove. That's right. And fills the count. Fills the count. Thank you, Mr. Nathan Laporte, for your contribution and support of Santa Mar Gator Athletics. Leaves it inside, four. draws the walk. Moody draws the walk. Bring it to the plate. Number six, Easton Humphrey. So Easton Humphrey coming up the bat now here for the Gators. Looks like number 16 going in. Number 16. It's going to be a pinch runner. Now running for the Gators, number 16, Quentin Ellisaw. So Quentin Ellisaw. I know his daddy. Pinch running. That'd be rad. Yeah, I hope he runs like his mama because his daddy's <laughs> slow. <laughs> oh, and we got Coach Tompley going to go have a, gonna go have a talk with Johnson. Oh. 
Is that going to be a new pitcher? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. I do want to thank Mr. Allen Avance, Mr. Nathan Laporte for your contribution, support Santa Mar Gator Athletics. All contributions goes to the Santa Mar High School Athletic Department, supporting all 28 sports or 29. I think it's 28. All 28 sports here at Santa Mar High School. And I think that's going to be it for Mr. Johnson, and it's going to bring in number like Oh, one's going into field. And it's be number seven on the mound now, which I think was the shortstop a while ago. So, yeah, number one's going – Number one's going to shortstop now. Yep. Yep, one at shortstop and seven to pitcher. Number seven <clears throat> is, that is Mr. Casey McCoy. That's the shortstop. Yep. What they cheering for? What we got? Oh, they're getting pumped up. What we getting pumped? What we doing? Oh, we had some Santa players over here. Oh, 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 oh. Getting the crowd pumped up. Oh, I got you. I didn't know. I was looking. Now, I don't think there's any other – let me see if there's any other changes. Number six, Easton Humphrey. So, Easton Humphrey to lead the Gators off here. Well, not to lead us off. He's up to bat now, up to rather. Bat. Up to bat. <clears throat> With a runner at first, Mr. Ellisar. 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 Ellisar at first, the runner. And we got Mr. Chase Kelly on deck. Top of Gators line up here. Easton, Easton Torpedo Humphrey up the bat now. That boy fast. Hits the ball to first base. Oh, gets by the first crazy. baseman. And then. He's going to be going to third. Gators now with runners on the corners. Gators on the corners for number 32, Chase Kelly. So that's going to bring up Chase Kelly. Kelly 0 for 2 on the day with a walk. Looking to get his first hit here of the game. With one out, we're in the bottom of the sixth inning. Gators leading here, four to two, looking to scratch some more runs. And Coach Tom play. What are we doing? Okay. He was going to go out, but then he said, nope. Not today. Not today. Maybe later. All right, so here we go. Chase Kelly up the bat. Ooh, Ooh tried to bunt. Fouls it back. 0-1. Ball was kind of a high pitch. I will tell you. I hate to jinx him, and I might be doing it, but Chase Kelly may be the best bunter I've ever seen in my life. He's a good bunter. I mean, now, I agree. Every time he bunts, he is successful in either reaching base, scoring a run, or sacrificing someone. Oh, leaves that one up and in. 1-1. One, one. You know what? I, I, I couldn't bunt. No. I, I couldn't hit. <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't feel. I couldn't mm. throw. I, I just sucked. <laughs> I hear you. Oh, and he tries to bunt again and fouls it off. Runs the count here, one, two. So one ball, two strikes here on Kelly. So one ball, two strikes. And delay steal, delay steal, delay steal. And what are we doing? Oh, no. What are we doing? What was that? Come on, kid. Oh, no. <sighs> that was a botch right there. <sighs> Let's say Easton should have started running back to first. Sorry. Sorry, little T-Hump. Oh, man. You delay still, you don't run into the tag. You get, at least get into the rundown to where yeah, our rundown. dude at third can try to get home. Oh, man. All right. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Oh, he was about to Yeah, he was about to ring him up and said safe. Wait, wait, what? What the? 
What's the safe sign, dude? What was that? No. Come on, man. Uh. <laughs> you can say safe instead of out. I mean, come on. Like, I ain't ever seen nothing like All that right, in my life. All right, we head to the top of the seventh inning. Your Gators four, Griffins two. I don't even know what that was. <sighs> well, I don't I, know I've either. I've never seen someone. And he dropped the ball. He so, dropped the ball. So, that you can't say safe dropped, like, like you can't, you, I mean, out, and it's, okay, safe, he dropped, you know, he, he caught the ball, you know? I, 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 don't, I don't get it. I don't know what happened. There. I don't know. I don't think that he knew what he was doing. He said safe, so Chase didn't even ha ha have the opportunity to run the first on a pass ball if that was a strike three. Right. I think he made a big brain for it right there and tried to recover. I don't keep up with all the, the popular jingles. Uh, 30 seconds, Kevin. Let's come back to the uh, – give me a Let get rid of all these – Spammers and bots, whatever they are. All right, y'all. The Gators are three outs away, three outs away from the win here over Dutchtown. I would tell you, Dutchtown has the top of its lineup. Yep, they had the bat. In, uh, had Hanbury, the Champagne, and McCoy. They're one, two, and three hitters. We'll lead off the seventh here for the Griffins. Now, I will say, okay, you got Hanbury is 0 for 3, Champagne is 1 for 3, and McCoy got two walks. And a double. Leading off for the Griffins, number 22, Carter Hanbury. So Carter Hanbury to lead off here. Behind the plate, Laporte, Moody at first, Blanchard at second, Kelly at third, Mole at short, Darren left. Humphrey in center, forward and right, back on the mound for the Gators, Swanson. Evens the count here, 1-1, one, one. so one ball, one strike. Pops it up out of play. Ooh, they, about a wrestling build? Yeah, it was a drop third strike, but the way that the umpire signaled it, he said safe like the dude caught the ball, but he didn't. The dude dropped the ball. And was, I mean, it was, just, it was just one big cluster. So, one, two count. Yeah, I think I'm assuming when he. And hits the ball right side. Got Oh, I thought he had him. God, dog. Blanchard came over through the Swanson at, at, at first base, and, man, it was bang, bang. It had to be bang, bang. At the plate, number four, Dylan Champagne. Man, I Dylan, thought he had him, man. I thought he had him, too. So, Dylan Champagne up the bat now here. Heck, heck of a play by Blanchard and Swanson, man. Yeah, to get over there and to cover. get over there. So, one, he's one for three on the day here. Takes for a strike, 0-1. I say he, he owes us a few strikes. Let's see if he gives them. Goodness. Gators leading by two here in the top of the seven. Evens the count, 1-1. One, one. Come on, kids. Somebody step up and beat a dude. And 1-2. So one ball, two strikes here on Champagne. And evens it up 2 2. Lane Swanson in his seventh inning of work has scattered six hits, given up two runs. And Chuck, I lost my strikeout count. I think he's at seven. Uh, let me see. Hang on, after this pitch, I'll tell you. Fouls it off. Barely stays alive. Here. One. Two, three, four, five, six. 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 Okay. Six strikeouts. Yep. So, extremely solid job here by Swanson. Ball oh, hit left ball. field. Kind of door. Door makes the go. grab for out number one. Door with the grab for out number one for the Gators. 
That brings to the plate number seven, Casey McCoy. So Casey McCoy up the bat now here for the Griffins. They did intentionally walk him last time. They did because he had hit a double the previous at bat and then they had a free base yeah, before. I, 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 I was about to say they had a runner a second, first base was open. Yep. Yeah, so it made a little sense, but let's see what Swanson got here, man. <coughs> We've seen some intermittent action in the Gator bullpen. Swing and a miss. But nothing recently. So 0-1 count here on McCoy. Ball hit to Mole. Mole feels it, throws to Blanchard. Blanchard throws across to Moody. 6-4-3 double play in the, the game right there. 6-4-3 double play to take the win over the Dutchtown Griffins. Oh, I couldn't help myself, Chuck. Woo. I had to step over here. Phenomenal game there by the Gators, folks. Gators win final score four to two over the Dutchtown Griffins. Oh, that was, what a way to end the game. Like, unbelievable. So that's it, folks. Final score, Gators four. Griffins, too. Thank you all for tuning in. We ain't going to talk much more. Hey, great game by both sides. Uh, good luck to the Griffins unless we match up with them, you know, uh, later on down the road. But uh, good luck to them the rest of the season. And uh, that's it, folks. Gators 4, Griffins 2. It's a great day to be a Gator.